Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today on our animated knot series, we are looking at the Palomar knot. So the Palomar knot is a quick, simple knot to tie, and it also is a nice, compact, small, neat knot. So some of you may have heard of it, many of you may not have. Myself, I've been tying the knot for a lot of years and I didn't even know the name of it. So recently I discovered it is called the Palomar knot. So what do we use the Palomar knot for? The Palomar knot can be used in braid mono or fluorocarbon to join a to tie a hook on, to tie a lure on, jig head, other terminal tackle. It's an excellent knot for those that are looking for a knot to tie in braid to join on a swivel or other terminal tackle. So for instance, my application for the Palomar knot, when I'm up on Fraser Island or fishing the beaches, I, I like to carry one small spin stick and a wading bag with me. So that small spin stick, I'll throw metal slugs, I'll throw soft plastics and other lures, but I'll also have in my wading bag a small bucket of live worms. So I may want to change from lure fishing to bait fishing if I find a good whiting gutter. What the Palomar knot allows me to do is to just snip off my leader that I'm fishing for lures and tuck that away. And the Palomar knot is a great simple knot for tying on my swivel to the braid. So I'll put my ball sinker on, I'll tie a Palomar knot to join the swivel on, and then I attach a leader. And the leader, I just use a standard blood knot, locked blood knot. But that Palomar is very, very quick and simple for joining that swivel to that braid, and it's nice and secure. So you may come up with your own applications for the Palomar knot. You can use it for joining on terminal tackle lures, and it's a great knot to tie to join braid to terminal and lures and those sorts of things. So here we go. Let's have a step through look at the Palomar knot. Our first step when tying the Palomar knot is to double over our braid monofilament or fluorocarbon. We then pass this doubled line through the eye of the hook, our swivel, jig head, lure or other terminal tackle. Our next step is to create a simple overhand knot. So our first step is to pass the doubled line across the other to create a loop. Passing the doubled line back through the loop created to create an overhand knot in our doubled line. It's important at this point that we have enough length in our tag loop to pass back over our terminal tackle or lure. Again, you can see that we have left enough length in the loop to easily pass over our hook in this case it could be your lure, swivel or other terminal tackle. At this point we can begin tightening the knot, ensuring that as the loop comes back over our hook eye or our lure or jig head, we don't damage the line on the closure of the eye of the hook. We can now lubricate our knot and slide it firmly into place, ensuring that it stacks neatly. It's now time to trim the tag end and you have successfully tied the Palomar knot. So there you go folks, that's the Palomar knot, a quick and easy knot to tie and a good one to have in your arsenal, keep it in the back of your mind, you never know when that one might come in handy and you can pull out that Palomar knot, tie a nice quick simple knot to get you out of trouble. All the best, get out there, get stuck into a few fish.